Hey, welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're all having an absolute magical day, and thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel. Magic the Gathering Arena announcements for June 15th. We have Boulder Gate coming to Arena Holy Toledos. So taking some commander cards and actually adjusting them for the one-on-one uh, -on -one experience within Arena, which is fairly exciting. We have Boulder Gate packs that we're opening at the end of each video to celebrate, which is also, you know, freaking awesome. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing within today's video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into it. All right, here we are within our news and announcements. What is juicy this week within Arena? Well, the pre-orders will begin next week, which is super exciting. So if you want to get in on the uh, Alchemy Horizons Boulder Gate experience, you can do so. We have 81 new cards coming, which is uh, a couple for sure. And, you know, each of those are times by four for a complete playset, which is a daunting task to collect as we look at some of, uh, you know, these new cards, which is fantastic, right? So uh, new and returning cards, which is also very cool. Um, you know, right, returning portable hole. I don't actually know if Ancient Brass Dragon is new or not, but uh, returning to, well, new to Arena, it definitely, and then returning to Arena within the hole, though. Because, uh, you know, I, my knowledge base isn't super crazy. Like, I'm not sure if these creatures exist in the past. We'd have to go into each of those and look up. But uh, I know that the hole is a reprint for sure, right? That's even in standard right now. Um, and the fantastic thing in that we can uh, check out some of them and uh, look at the changes that they've made for Arena, right? So, you know, at the bottom here, we've got some good examples. Um, the Monster Manual within the set itself uh, and then the Monster Manual within Arena are a little bit different, right? You'll see this Arena symbol here. So this is what we had before, and then this is what we will have in the game, uh, have before in the paper packs, that is. Um, both of these are three mana. Both of these are four mana. Sorry, I'm just looking for the change. Pay two and tap. Pay two and tap. You may put a creature card from your hand into the battlefield. Uh, and then you may put a creature card from your hand into the battlefield. Activate only as sorcery speed, right? So uh, a little bit tuned down for arena, whereas, you know, uh, the power level remains the same within uh, the commander or whatever you happen to be playing this within. So, you know, that's a nice little adjustment there uh, and a definite nerf. As far as I'm concerned, making it only uh, available at sorcery speed. And then the, the Sculptor, Scepter, Sepulter, I woof, I won't embarrass myself any further. Check out this cool ghoul. Uh, <laughs> it's a 2 1. You can sacrifice another creature. It will receive plus 2, plus 2 until the end of turn, only activating once each turn. And then within Arena, sacrifice another creature. It gains plus 2, plus 2 until the end of turn, activating only once each turn. So this uh, is a 2 2 in retrospect to a 2 1. Uh, actually making it a little bit stronger within Arena, which is fairly interesting. The mana value remains the same, stuff like this, right? So um, that's what you can look forward to within Arena. You know, some of these cards have been adjusted um, to better fit the current meta that we have uh, access to, or the card base, right? Uh, Pre-order bundles, um, you can get five Mythic packs with them, and it will also include the first 10 Mastery levels. Um, and most exciting, right? The early access is back July 5th, 10 a.m. to July 6th at 10 a.m., uh, which is fantastic. And, uh, you know, myself will be making a ton of new decks to showcase for you guys, which is really cool. Um, and then if you want to apply, you know, are you a streamer, content creator? Um, you know, you can apply here depending on what region you're in. If you're included in the Streets of New Capenna pre-release, you will automatically be included, which is exciting. And then, you know, we've got the events. There's a jump in update, Alchemy Horizons, ooh, um, best of one and best of three sealed, super ooh. Alchemy Horizons Premier Draft and Traditional Draft, a new Alchemy metagame challenge, ooh, ooh. bring your uh, Alchemy deck and play best of three matches to win gold in Alchemy Horizons Boulder Gate packs. I guess that's just kind of breaking that down for us for some reason. We know what it is, dog. And then the constructed events, uh, you know, we, we are obviously aware of this as well, which is fantastic. And then the themed festivals, mid-July, uh, more details on that coming soon. Pre-release uh, voucher visual bug. So if you had some pre-release vouchers that you put in game, you got packs available. But then when the update came out, the uh, packs were gone. Don't worry, you still get your packs. You just have to wait until the update comes out to see them again. Update to the Explorer ban list. Ayo. So we already seen that expressive iteration. Yeah, out of here. And um, Winota is actually gone from Pioneer now as well. 
The play in event is this Friday. So if you want to qualify for the June qualifier, you can uh, do so through this play in event. You can also uh, automatically qualify it for it by finishing within the top 250, which is exciting. And then the June qualifier is actually this weekend. It's going to be uh, Explorer. So stay tuned for that. Wish me luck. I hope we do all right. I've been practicing a little bit, but we're going to continue to practice because it's, oh, what a hard meta it is, right? And then here's the event schedule, which we kind of already just talked about and the premier play schedule. You can uh, find more details on this within the description below. I'll be sure to include the Lizink. And now, you know, what we're really here for, it's the pack opening. Get to it, kid. Let's go. All right. Ooh. All right, big money, big money, big money. We want, what, like an ancient brass dragon? Um, What is that red dragon? We want that one, too. We want all of the dragons, baby. <laughs> All right, let's see what we get here. I'll try to be uh, semi-quick through it. Open this up so I can see them. Yes. Oh, upside down, bro. Upside down. Look at this goofy goober. This is Mojo Rogue in the morning, if you can believe it. Wow. Oh, and look at On the back side of it, we have B&D stats. That is... Freaking fantastic, Doogie. We really enjoy that, do we not, chat? All right, let's get into it. We've got ourselves a planes here. Oh, planes, gross. Endless water for three. You have no maximum hand size. Add mana of any color. That's pretty cool. Fire diamond, adding a red source, entering tapped for two. Charcoal diamond, same but with black. The Sky Diamond, the same but with blue. Oh my lord, the Marble Diamond, the same but with white. I thought it was another one. Oh, I was going to lose my mind. The Nimble Right uh, Schematic for two. Artifact, when it enters the battlefield or is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one colorless construct artifact creature token. We have the Scale Singer. We actually got an alt art version of this in our last one. The Cloakwood Hermit. Commander creatures you own have at the beginning of your end step. If a creature card is put into your graveyard from anywhere this turn, create two tapped 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature tokens. Hey, that's all right. Saddle the Cavalier. There's a lot of green in this card. Sorry, green screen. Equipped creature gets plus three, plus three. Can't be blocked by creatures with power three or less. Equipped for three. <laughs> Mediocre. Uh-oh. The Shattered One for four. This is a 3-3 three, three Elf Wizard. At the beginning of your end step, target opponent gains control of up to... One target creature you control, put two plus one plus one counters on it, and tap it. It is goaded for the rest of the game, and it gains this creature can't be sacrificed. And whenever a creature you own but don't control attacks, draw a card. Now that is incredibly interesting. Party Outlier. Commander creatures you control have whenever this creature attacks. Player with no opponent has uh, more life than that player. Another target creature you control gets plus X plus X until the end of turn where X is that creature's power. Um, you know, that's fine. It's an enchantment. Uh, this will be a holographic enchantment, which I quite like. Inspiring leader for three. Commander creatures you own have creature tokens you control. Get plus two, plus two. Whoa-oh. Volo, the scholar. Mm, beautiful for three. It's a two-three. When it enters the battlefield, create a journal, a legendary colorless artifact creature token with hexproof. And whenever you cast a creature spell, note one of its types uh, that hasn't been noted for this artifact. We can pay two. Draw a card for each creature type noted for target permanent you control named Volo's Journal. Choose a background. That is probably a very nice card. And then a holographic Mist Dragon AO for 543 with flying. A Founding Clouds. When it enters the battlefield for each opponent, tap up to one target creature that that player controls. Each of those creatures don't untap during their controller's next untap step. And then Howling Mine for two, Artifact. At the beginning of each player's draw step, Howling Mine is untapped. If it is untapped, sorry, that player draws an additional card. It's not too shabby. So there's some goodies in there for sure. Really interested in this Volo. The Mine is nice as well. We got something else that was pretty groovy, did we not? No? 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 Definitely not. Oh, yeah, we did. Definitely did. We got the uh, John, Volo, and the Howling Mine. Three beautiful cards that you'll be seeing, hopefully, um, when this new set comes out, right? So 
Uh, thanks for opening the pack with me. I appreciate you guys. Hope you have an absolute magical day. Cheers. We'll see you in the next. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share the channel to your friends, families, playgroups, whatever it happens to be. And yeah, see you soon in the next.